Do breakups suck or what? I mean, really suck. Like, take your hand, reach in there, get your heart, rip it out still beating and put it in a doggy bag. Here you go. Like that one scene in Dumb and Dumber. That kind of sucked. That raw emotional state that is you. Oh, so lonely. And I was reading in a book that that actual emotional pain is in the same part of your brain that physical pain is in. That your body actually sometimes can't tell the difference. That's why it freaking hurts. Now look, I've had my fair share of relationship struggles and breakups, and I'm not the relationship coach by any means, but if there's one thing I like working with people on, it's this, transitory times. You really only got two options, and we're talking about those in this video. And then at the end there, I'll give you two reframes, two tools that you can walk away with and I know these will help. One quick note before we get going, I'm starting a free secret group on Facebook. Okay, I'm reopening it. Now I'm only letting like 70 people a week in around there, and we wanna keep this as high quality as possible. So if you want some behind the scenes content, you want some secret sauce we don't share on YouTube here, I'm putting a lot of exclusive content, gonna be going live in there as well. It is first come first serve, so you might as well put in your request ASAP. It can take a while to approve it, so uh, that's down below. Now I mentioned, you really only got two options after a breakup. Let's talk about the one most people do, and this is the default. It's to stay put. You have to understand that the mind, the ego, your self-image, it loves drama. It feeds on that. Like a stay-at-home parent that can't get enough of the tabloids and just consumes, 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 gossip magazines and every single thing, that's what your ego loves, these hardcore, intense emotional stories. Even if there's a logical explanation as to why you and that person didn't really work out or maybe they left you and you intellectually understand it, the emotional part of your brain is gonna come up with the craziest story and you're gonna believe it because it feels real. And we don't really base our decisions on logic, we base them on emotions, especially moment to moment. So of course that emotional story is gonna kick on and win and that's what you're running with. What do I mean by this? Well, the default mechanism in your body, your brain, your emotion, after a breakup is gonna go to, I'll never find someone as good as them. They left me, therefore I'm unlovable. They're probably cheating on me, I knew they were. These are dangerous beliefs because they can ingrain and stay with you and almost become a self-fulfilling prophecy. The problem isn't that you're unlovable, the problem is really at the core that you feel like you don't deserve love. And so you carry that into future relationships and that will project onto other people and they might pick up on that and be like, what the hell is wrong with this person and treat you accordingly. Or you might stay put, option one here, waiting for that person. You're gonna make it your mission now, like they left you and so your mission is to wait until they realized what they were missing and they come back and happily ever after we have a, uh, you know, you're, you're reconciled and you're back together and it really works. That one's tough because again, your ego loves the drama. It's gonna create the most elaborate story and fantasy in your head. I remember in high school, and I've told this story briefly on this channel before, I had that fantasy of this person who was gonna come back and, you know, some 16 year old got out of a relationship, was head over heels. It was only like a two, three, four month thing. Um, but sometimes those are even more intense because you don't even have the downside of them. You know, like after six months, 12 months of dating someone, you kind of see their flaws and their quirks and, uh, they might get mad at you, you have your first real fight and the ugly sides of them start coming out. Well, in the first three months, if you split after that, you don't have any of that. So in your mind, they're like perfect still, right? So sometimes those can be more intense. Anyway, um, that happened to me. She, long story short, went back to an ex. And then for like the next two or three years of high school, I was carrying around this story that I was gonna do everything I could to get attention, to become successful, to, you know, all eyes on me. Um, so she'd finally come back and, you know, see what she was missing and say she was wrong all along. And it turned me into this like really like intense, I don't wanna say angry person, but I, I looking back, I realized how much of the actual experience of life I missed out on just waiting for someone. Cause long story short, no one came back. We never talked again beyond that one conversation where she told me she was going back to an ex. And it took me you know, years to get over that and let it go. My point there is that my ego was telling me, Clark, like, hold on, do all these things to get their attention and they'll come running back to you. But reality is that doesn't happen. Eventually you're gonna come to the point, and maybe you're in that point now where you're sick of waiting to like better yourself dependent on someone else and you wanna do that for your own self, you wanna move on. Side note, I know these two options inside and out, not only have I been in both and used it, but I've helped clients going through both. Again, I never thought I'd be the relationship coach, but what I do 
So I help people create this new 2.0 version of you, right? And really sequence out this intense like inner growth journey in six weeks in our metamorphic coaching program. It's literally like the best thing you can do if you really do want to develop that next version of you and you want to use it just like the same way you'd go work with a personal trainer. If you're going to get in super good shape in six weeks, get all ripped up, right? That's exactly what we help people with, with that internal ripped up version of you. And we bring that out of you in six weeks there. We also do some shadow work where we have an NLP coach come in and he works with you. He can work through things. So if you can't get over someone, maybe there's a subconscious block there. If you feel like you're unworthy or unlovable and that's showing up in relationships, maybe there's a block there. If you want some more info on our coaching program, I'll link down below a quick little application. It's like two, maybe three minutes there. And then uh, you can actually speak to one of our enrollment coaches and he'll see if it's even a good fit for you. And if it's not, he can give you some more tools, point you in a different direction. So either way, you're walking away with something. That call's totally free, but they do fill up. We do have limited spots. So uh, click down below and uh, apply. Now the second option, this is where you come to the realization that you don't wanna feel that way. You don't just wanna stay put. You wanna to get to this next level. And so you're going to use it. This is the second option, okay? Using the breakup. That this breakup can actually be a breakthrough if you tap into it. Now, here's the thing with breakups. They have so much potential energy. Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook or what became Facebook, uh, the iteration of it. If you saw the social network, cause his girlfriend broke up with him. He had all that energy and he said, screw you. And he's going to prove them wrong. How many love songs, rap songs, Grammy winning songs, most of the music you listen to has some underlying theme of a love story. Not always that worked out, but most of the time that didn't work out if you listen to it and they're selling millions and millions of record. Now, yeah, some of these things can be more egoic or not the best motivation, like you're ultimately doing it to prove someone wrong, but maybe that's just the healing process. And if it makes you better in the process, I'm all for it, you might as well. My point here is that you can channel that energy into something positive and constructive instead of the opposite, which is destructive behaviors, just kind of just wall wallowing in yourself, isolating yourself, closing yourself off to people around you, uh, drinking a lot, developing unhealthy habits, eating flaming Hots and playing Fortnite. Again, personal experience on this. All in the same month after college, I was 30 grand in debt. Uh, I was living in my mom's basement. I was working like crappy jobs that I just got fired from. And my girlfriend of two years, three years, just broke up with me because she said, uh, you know, you're doing entrepreneur things. Like uh, my dad doesn't approve. I don't approve. I'm going this way in life. You're going that way in life. Good luck. That inner spark in me went off and said, if she doesn't believe in this YouTube thing, I'm gonna go all in on it. You know, I'm gonna prove to myself, not necessarily to her, but at the time, maybe it was, but myself that I can do this. That's actually what you're seeing right now was kind of the spark, the initial spark in my mom's basement there, that tipping point where I had an identity shift and I crafted myself into that next version of me that was motivated by a breakup. It was a breakthrough. Understand that that energy that you're feeling right now, all that pain, that can be neutral if you tap into it. You can use it as constructive energy or you can get used by it and it can be destructive and cause you to go this way. It's really just neutral. This is the perfect time to create that next version of you. And I say this in every relationship video, but it has to be said because I think this is the best way to sum this up and really drive it home for you. Um, tens attract tens, okay? Tens attract tens. Do you believe that? That you see tens and they're with tens? You might have some resistance to it because you know, you're like, well, is that just looks wise? I don't just mean looks wise. I mean, energetically, lifestyle wise, uh, emotionally, vibrationally, if you believe that. That you don't manifest what you want Otherwise, everyone would be a billionaire ripped up with six pack abs and happy all the time, right? You manifest who you are, okay? And what you are. And so if you know that and you believe that, doesn't that make sense that you always get what you're on the same level with? And that if you want more, you're gonna first have to become more. So maybe if this relationship was just starters for you, and maybe the next one that you're gonna attract in your life will be infinitely better if you work on yourself and you raise yourself up to this like next 10 level version of you. Maybe we're just at a six or a seven right now and we gotta cut a few things off that'll raise us up to like an eight or a nine and then the next person we attract is on that next level. You know, they say that um, uh, 
every millennial now is staying in jobs for less and less because they leave it and they level up and their salary goes the more they jump around, jump around, jump around. Now, I'm not advocating that in relationships, but I think there's something to be said that relationships can kind of be a mirror for you and that the you know long-term ones I feel like are even bigger mirrors that look deeper into your soul and you realize all the ugly parts about yourself if you listen. The good news is that if you listen to that feedback and you work on that, that's actually the process of you getting better and leveling up. And you're gonna attract higher quality people to your life. Here's a challenge for you, just something really practical that you can walk away with. What you're gonna do after this, if you're up for it, you wanna really use this video and not just let it uh, just be entertainment for you. Um, you wanna walk away with something tangible. I want you to make a list of three to five things that you've always wanted to do, but for some reason you never got around to it. Okay, like not like a bucket list, but something that like maybe your past partner, this this uh, ex that you have made fun of you for, or maybe you just like always just kind of put off, put off, put off because you never had the time. I want you to make a list of three to four things, okay? I want you to throw yourself into one of those things and just go for it. Remember, potential energy that we got here, it's neutral. It can be constructive or de destructive for you. What do I mean? Go to the gym, learn a new hobby, research something, learn a new skill. Look, when I got out of relationships, I had all this potential energy, I would just throw myself into drums. I would practice for like eight hours a day trying to get the perfect uh, fills down and the songs and whatnot, and then I would film these drum covers. Point is, try something new, it's fun. At the very least, it's a distraction. At the very most, you're gonna build that confidence because confidence comes from doing things that are new to you and realizing you're not gonna die by doing them. So one of the best ways to build yourself up if you feel lacking or unloved after a breakup is to prove to yourself that you, can, that you still got it. I think one of the best ways is to build yourself up, create that next version of you and use that breakup as a breakthrough. If you want some help, apply down below to our coaching program where we do that in six weeks. Again, we sequence all that out, take all the guesswork out from you. Um, because I know like work on yourself can sound so ambiguous. Uh, there's millions of self-help books. There's hundreds of thousands of hours probably of YouTube videos giving you advice. How, I mean, you're overwhelmed. Your time is one of the most valuable assets you got. So not to mention you want the sequence because things in sequence get you better results. And so what we did is I took and synthesized the best six weeks all the knowledge, like literally teaching you how to coach yourself by the end of it, um, teaching you how to fish, giving you the tools, empowering you. And so by the end of it, you won't even recognize yourself. Okay. Again, if you want to use this breakup as a breakthrough, apply down below, talk to one of our enrollment coaches and uh, come see if the program's the right fit for you and that, uh, you know, we can potentially help you. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, stop settling, start living. See ya.